Hello everyone, it's me Jeppy from Unique Tutorials. Today, in this video, I will show you how to convert a file or folder into bootable ISO file in any Windows computer. So, would any further more delay? Let's begin. So, first of all, you need to open any web browser and you need to visit to this website. I'll be providing this website link too in the video description so you can click there and log into this website. Once you open this website, you can see its web page and now here you can see a download on the left top corner just click on it now here you can see our various download options you can select any one of them the software will remain the same so i will select this provided by mazo cakes so it will take you to the website to download this software so here you can see so i'll just click on download now so wait for a few seconds until the download gets started as you can see download is started download has been completed so let me go to the folder where it is being downloaded so to install this software just double left click the software click on run so now you can see just click on next just click on decline just decline this so now the measure software that is the image burn software is being downloaded now you can click on install now now click on next click again on next click on next click next click next now wait for a few more seconds until the installation gets complete So the installation is completed, click on finish. So on the left hand side you can see here the shortcut icon of recently installed software name as image burn. So now what you need to do is just double left click this image burn software to open or run this software. So you can see it's user interference here. So I'll not discuss much about this software in details so I'll directly jump to the on what topic I'm going to show here or I'm going to use so here you can see create image file from files and folders so on the left hand side let me show you I have one folder of Windows 10 operating system so you can see this is the extracted file so this is not an ISO file so you can see here a setup file is there even a boot manager remember if you create any folder into a bootable that is a bootable also still it will not boot for you since unless and until you have this boot manager files inside that folder so this is a simple example suppose say if you have extracted from one of your friends the windows operating ISO into a folder then how you can convert it back to bootable ISO folder so here you can see I have a folder so what I will do just select this create image files and folders now you need to select the source you can just click on here or you can just drag and drop here so I will just add some source here you need to at some source you can just find you can browse for a folder you can just browse for a file so we'll just browse for a folder right just click on this icon so I'll select this one as you can see here on the desktop so I'll just select a desktop and I'll select the respective folder as you can see on the left hand side so once your selection is done 
click on select folder it will be added here as you can see here now where you want to save this also folder so you can select a here you can see it's not set right now so after converting where you want to save just so you can see here browse for a file can so what I will do I will create one new folder here so I'll just select a file so let me go to the desktop and just select this click open click save so when my conversion of this folder completed then it will be saved on the newly created folder so once your every settings is done you can see here conversion button just click on it you can see here some installations just click on yes click on yes click on yes click ok so wait for a few more seconds until the conversion gets complete so finally it's completed so let's check it out under the folder so here you can see I have a ISO file so let me show its properties so you can see here it's an ISO file now you can burn this ISO file on your respective pen drives or any DVD or CD disk and you can make it bootable but remember if you try to create any other folder which does not have a boot manager inside the folder then you will not be able to make it a bootable so not this word so in this way you can convert a folder or a file into bootable as of files in windows computer very easily so if you never known about the school tricks then try it out today and if you like this video tutorial useful click on the thumbs like button and if you're new to our channel click on the subscribe button and lastly thanks for watching